Sondor surprised many of us by releasing a new color display and an upgraded controller kit. This is a great upgrade for many of us with the stock bikes. The new display is colorful, is bright, and it has great features. In this video, I'll try to share my first impressions and show you some of its features. The package that I received was specifically designed for a single speed fold X. It contained a 25 amp controller, the color display, the hardware needed for the installation, and the instructions on how to set up the basic features. You will need a few basic tools for this upgrade. You would need to install the new 25 amp controller. It is similar size to your old controller, so you should not have any problems installing the new controller in your bike's controller cavity area. As expected, all the cables are color coordinated and the new controller is plug and play, fits perfectly with the cables on the bike. One item of note is the new throttle cable is blue but it matched the 5-pin cable that I had on my single-speed bike. The new display comes with a nice surprise. It has a USB port. I was able to use my iPhone's lightning cable to plug in my phone and charge it utilizing the internal battery. Once I had the controller and the new display installed, I took the bike for my first ride. The display is very bright and clearly visible in direct sunlight. What I liked about it, it's perfectly configured out of the box to work very well without any adjustments or configurations. Thanks to the 25 amp controller, the torque improvement is very noticeable. I had no problem pedaling to 20 miles an hour at a very easy cadence. The new display can be turned on by holding the I button. It shows your speed, your pedal assist level, trip meter, odometer, time traveled, and other key information. To make additional adjustments, a passcode is required to access the advanced settings. Here you can adjust your tire size ranging from 23 inches all the way to 30 inches for a fat bike. Speed limit can be adjusted up to 40 miles an hour. Another great feature of the new display is the ability to set up the controller's amps. This is similar to C5 setting in the old KT displays. The low number here is 10 amps with a high of 30. However, my display's physical limit is 25 amp. Set voltage adjustment allows you to select your battery size, in this case a 48 volt. It will also let you custom configure your battery indicator. Each bar can be adjusted to have a low voltage threshold. This is a great feature. It will allow you to custom configure your display for your riding style. Power set allows you to set up the number of pedal assist levels ranging from 0 to 3 all the way to 0 to 9. While you're in this setting, you can also adjust the power level for each increment. I played with this, and as much as 0 to 9 sounds fascinating, I really like the 0 to 5 setting the best. I think 5 is a key number here. Overall, I like the new color display. It is bright, easy to see in direct sunlight, easy to adjust, and it has great advanced features, including some that we've never had on a Sondor's brand display. Also, it comes with an upgraded controller. This is a great upgrade for someone with a stock settings on their bikes, 
that would like to upgrade to a higher power controller and a new color display. Thanks for watching and hope you join me in future videos. Thank you.